Hey guys, my name is Simpsy. How are you all doing? Welcome to the start of a brand new campaign series on the channel. We're going to be playing Crusader Kings 2 on the Game of Thrones mod as Jon Snow. We're going to be playing as Aegon Targaryen himself. So guys, if this video can hit 500 likes within 24 hours, I will do a double upload here today and release the second video instantly. If not, you just have to wait a little bit longer. I'll put in the description below the mod if you guys would like to play along with me. Now, I was kind of struggling to install a Winds of Winter sub mod which was a, being a bit of a pain in the ass. So we're going to have to load in the default Feast for Crows scenario. So I couldn't find a decent mod that was like working that was in the Season 7 timeline. So we're going to be playing as Jon Snow. There's going to be a lot of moving parts for this campaign because the AI does have a... Well, there's going to be a lot of moving parts because technically we're playing as a landless lord, which isn't always the best with saves and stuff. So basically, the main objective for this series is I want to sit Jon Snow upon the Iron Throne, Aegon Targaryen on the Iron Throne, create the Stark sort of Targaryen dynasty. And I also would like to marry Daenerys Targaryen. Now, there's a couple of things I want to do here within the game rules. Now, I'm, I'm going to reset everything because I think I had some custom before. I'll go through it again when I was just testing it out. So, yes, I want R plus L equals J. This is going to trigger an, an event where Howland Reed uh, comes and uh, gives evidence to basically say that... Jon Snow is the son of Rhaegar Targaryen and Lyanna Stark. Now, I'm just going to quickly go through here because there's a couple of things I would like to tweak before we get in. Now, invitation to court characters in other courts will only accept invitation. No, I want to put that open so I can invite people into courts. Um, and I also want to turn the White Walkers off. Now, simply because we're going to have roughly 500 men attacking the north. We're going to be outnumbered quite significantly. And we're going to be allowing Stannis to control the main force. I can't control the Stannis AI. So I don't even know if we're going to be able to take the north in our first run through. Because, uh, like I said, there's a sort of a lot of moving parts. The White Walkers are kind of bullshit in this mod. They tend to break the all the time like the invasion and we'll just leave it at that uh, going down here we want to go with enhanced female AI marriage we want to turn this off you guys will find out why in a moment but I think that oh no there's one thing about marriages wasn't there that I wanted to turn off where is it? Okay, I've come back to this last cut because I was looking for interfaith marriages. I actually load in, loaded in to start the campaign. I just quickly deleted that because the Stannis script didn't work for whatever fucking reason. So uh, we're, we're off to a flying fucking start. For some reason, the Stannis stuff didn't pop up. So let's go for round two. I didn't want to cut it. I didn't want to waste you guys' time. So where is it? So we're playing as Jon Snow. Here are the traits. Let's sort of speed things up. It's not working. Oh, no, here we go. Oh, for fuck's sake. Right, these are the events. They didn't pop up before, which was fucking bullshit. Anyway, now that it's working, we'll go through the stats again. Right, so John's a bastard, skilled fighter. He has a direwolf long claw. Wildling sympathizer, that isn't good. Authoritative, proud and brave, just, honest and kind. Now, as you can probably tell by the tone in my voice, I'm still a little bit under the weather. I'm still a little bit sick, so there's random cuts everywhere. I'm just coughing and skarking. So, Lord Commander John, I declare that my brother left no true-born sons. Right, so this is basically saying that all the sons of... Sons and daughters of Cersei Lannister aren't legitimate. So, of course, I should have known. I'm a sworn brother of the Night's Watch. My brother Rob and his fellow Northmen were outrageously murdered by the phrase at the Red Wedding. The North remembers, along with the phrase as well. So let's speed things up a bit. You have a new heir, which is fine, and we're about to get... The Wildling script. Here we go. The wall is mine. With the aid of Stannis Baratheon, we have repelled the Wildlings, and now I have chosen my brothers to be Lord Commander. Stannis struggles for the Iron Throne continues. However, he proposes that I be his Lord of Winterfell. That's cool. That's some really cool Stannis armor. So we're playing just after Stannis has uh, saved the Night's Watch from the Wildlings. No, I swore an oath. Yes, that is what I always wanted. We become a legitimized bastard from our King Stannis, which we will betray eventually. And, uh, yeah, so that's it. That's all I would always wanted. 
And, oh, okay, as a part of His Grace's offer to me, King Stannis, Lady Val, Wildling Princess, okay, so I imagine we get some bonuses and some units and stuff. Val Man's Ward, no, Man's Sword, okay, Man's Ward. <laughs> Sorry about that one, guys. I just started coughing my guts off when I was laughing. Anyway, she'll make a fine lady of Winterfell. A Stark can't marry a, marry a wildling. That's an interesting statement there, because one of the original Starks did marry a wildling. <laughs> okay, we're not going to do that, but hopefully that doesn't piss off, piss off Stannis Baratheon too much. I'm riding forth to see my fathers and brothers avenged, and many men are inspired by my case. Many of my sworn brothers have sworn allegiance to me, even bands of wildlings have vowed to slay my enemy. enemies. Winter is coming. Alright, so we've got Jon Snow and 800 men. We've got 60 gold in the bank, which is not much. We want to double time, probably to either Winterfell, which doesn't seem to look like to be the capital. Okay. No. It looks like the Dreadfort is. So we want to double time to the Dreadfort as quickly as possible. So Lord John. John Stark, he's technically called at this moment in time. We'll probably name, obviously, name him uh, Aegon Targaryen once uh, the event pops up with Howland Reed. I'm not going to jig this stuff just yet because we're still technically a landed lord, a landless lord. So let's negotiate with Daenerys Targaryen. Will you marry John? Okay, no, just yet because I would love to marry them on now because. I've put a couple of things in that allows to intermarry Faith of the Seven and the Old Gods. So that was probably one of the things preventing it before. Anyway, we're fighting in the north. So what can we do here? We want to go with... Uh, yeah, let's get married. That's what we want to go with. And we can't do anything else just yet. So let's see which lords stand with us. Oh, what? Rickon Stark was long thought of being murdered by Theon Greyjoy. But Stannis and Lord Manderley claim to have found him, rescued by sm the smuggler Sir Davos. Ah, oh, Sir Davos, the man, the myth, the legend. They now name him heir. Okay, they all laid our cause. So Rickon's alive. Oh, I forgot to even check the family tree. So Aya, oh god, she's married to Ramsay Bolton. Is that actually Aya, though, in the books? Wasn't um, one of Sansa or Aya's handmaidens there? Uh, so what's going on here? Let's trace with that vanish. Aya Stark. Yeah, there's two Aya Starks here, isn't there? Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, Bran's apparently dead, uh, but Rickon's at White Harbor. That's cool. So we've got the Mandalays with us. We've got the Umbers with us. We've wow, the Foresters and the White Hills took up arms against us, along with Carho. We've got Bear Island with us, the Mormonts, and we've got the Glovers. Galbert Glover will lead the van. All right, let's see if there's any other Northern houses coming to help. So John is going headstrong to the Dreadfort. Like I said, there's still a lot of moving parts. I don't know if we're going to win this fight. If I could control this entire army, I would win. But of course, we're leaving it up to the AI. It's time to ch it's time for me to choose how I want to educate my half-brother, Lord Rickon Stark. He'll be educated at court. It's going to cost me 40 gold, but that should be fine. Oh, wait, what? Why are the foresters in the White Hills fighting over Ironrath? What is this? The Game of Thrones Telltale? fucking game. Anyway, the White Hills got absolutely smacked. Uh, they're fighting each other, which I don't particularly mind. Let's quickly go down and talk to Daenerys once more. Will you marry Jon? No, it doesn't look like it just yet. Okay, so we're slowly moving our way, slowly but surely, to the Dreadfort. Glorious Jon, will you be my com... Oh, wait, what? I would like to offer... I would like to offer you a position on my council. Just... Um... Mm, yeah, sure. But does that mean I'm still able to command my armies? That's what I'm sort of worried about. We've only got 800 men. Like I said, it, we've got, it's so risky leaving it up to the AI. So I don't know. We might, we might min. We might, we might not. Uh, it's no big secret. Except it was my job. Um, there's no way I might lose my job. Yeah. Okay. It looks like we've got reinforcements now. We're going headstrong into the Dreadfort. How well is sort of everyone going? The Reed is coming up here. 
Oh, let's actually quickly have a look at the other lords in Westeros. So, Robert, uh, Robert Aaron is in the Vale. What's going on with Tully? Edmure is the leader of House Tully. Euron, the Crow's Eyes in the Iron Islands. We have Cersei Lannister in the Westerlands. We have Mace Tyrell in the Reach. Mace the Ace. We've got Doran Martell. And then we've got Stannis the Manus over in the, uh, the Stormlands. Uh, Tom and Baratheon currently sits the Iron Throne, and that is it. Roos Bolton is obviously uh, pa Lord Paramount, Warden in the North. So let's continue our. S oh God, Stannis just lost. I think that's it. That's G fucking G. I think Stannis just lost. Then, Commander Roland Storm. No. Oh God. Maybe that. Oh, this might be a. Um, uh, I don't know. Minus nine. All right. Uh, no, I don't want a commander position. We've just lost there in the north again. We've won that just there. I need men. Like I can't take this. I need to sort of attract the AI here if we can. Because if we can take the dread fort. We might. The Foresters and White Hills are still going at it. Can I marry Daenerys or has she been married to someone else? Nope, I can marry Daenerys Targaryen. Propose that Jon Snow and Daenerys marry. Let's do that. That would give us a claim, hopefully, but like I. Oh! So, King Jon of, Mar of Marine. Okay, that's, that's weird. To the com peace be with you, I accept. Yes. So now. Jon Snow, King Jon Stark, and Queen Daenerys Targaryen have gotten married. Excellent. Yep. Oh, there's need to pause again. Right, so how's the war going? We, we, must, we must have won a skirmish here. So, yep, Jon Snow is now married to Daenerys Targaryen, um, and we've still got her lands in Marine. I guess we sort of merged them. So, hopefully now... They can uh, have a children. John and Danny. Hashtag boat, you know what. Probably can't say it anyway. Okay, guys, welcome back. Sorry about that cut. Basically, what happens is, well, simply, we lost the war. Now, like I said, this campaign has got a lot of sort of moving parts around it. So, basically, what happened is, I basically cut it because it was a waste of time. Stannis Baratheon basically lost in the north, and uh, he managed to capitulate in down in the south in Stormlands. The thing is, right, we need Stannis's army to win the war. There's no way we can tactically win without it. So basically what happened is I had a thousand units and I was just a landless lord in the north piece. Because technically Jon Snow is a landless lord as well, we can save but we can't like reload, which is a pain in the ass as well. I just thought I'd be um, sort of honest with you guys because this campaign is kind of tricky to record. If you guys wanted to play along with me, I just sort of let you know that it's kind of a bit difficult because we're basically waiting on the AI to make the right moves. Like I've only got 800 men under my command. I want to try and take the dread fort. Now, we've been lucky this time around because a plague has broken out. So, the defenders inside has significantly gone down. They've only got... Oh, no. Zero, zero, zero. Living will be in force. Hmm. There was a disease outside and in my army. So, how many guys have we got here? Okay. So, we actually can take down the dread fort now. Because the AI this time around has actually thrown units in. It's just a little bit... It's a bit of a pain in the ass. If I'm being honest, but basically there might be a couple of discrepancies here and there because I've basically had to redo all what I've done beforehand off camera. So the things that are the same, I'm still married to Daenerys Targaryen. I still obviously want to try and down and push and take the Iron Throne, um, but this time around. Um, the event to find Rickon didn't pop up. So Rickon, to John's knowledge at the moment, is dead. So let's hopefully try and take the Dreadfort now. So after the dowry from Daenerys, we've got 164. Let's take a loan from the Iron Bank. That's going to give us 214. And that means we can hire some mercs. So let's sort by strength. Um, 150. We can get a sellsword company. That, and then it's three per month, and that will actually last us a little while. So let's get this um, sellsword company. That will increase us. Uh, how, hmm, 4,000 inside. Okay, so Mandalay's leave us with 1,000 here. 
A Blackpool army. Okay, there's quite a significant army here. We might actually win this time around. 12%. Let's just cross our fingers and hope that um, Stannis doesn't get capitulated. That's what happened last time, because Aegon, technically my rumoured half-brother, Aegon of Essos, which is not. He's a bastard Blackfire. We'll deal with him later. So we really need to push and try and take the north, I guess. Sort of cross our fingers. So... Oh, there's an army up here in the north, and we might have just won. 66% to capitulation. The Dread Fort's nearly taken now. This is my second time around recording. I think, yes, it, it just we, you just sort of have to sort of wish on the AI's initiative, you know. And adding the ability that we can't reload and have to do the whole thing again to get similar the, similarly the same events. It's just a... Just a pain in the ass. It really is. But this campaign is going to be a lot of fun. And I uh, hope you guys enjoy it along with me. If you still want to support the series and would like to see more, the best thing you guys can do is leave a like, subscribe, and let me know in the comments where you would like me to expand. So, it looks like we've taken the Dread Fort. However, it doesn't look like he's inside. Yeah, so have we definitely taken it? Not quite. It doesn't look like. 94% to capitulation. Winterfell is currently being besieged now. He's at 13% to capitulate at 51. It could be close. You never know. Aegon could just, like, take it. We haven't quite taken the Dread Fort just yet. There are still some defenders inside. But if we can take their capital, I imagine that's it. She's all over Red Rover. They've capit... Oh, have they capitulated? Come on. Yes. Yes. Fuck Yes. Because now I'm technically a landed lord. I can do a save and reload from this point. Phew. If we have a game crash. Right. Lord Paramount John of the North has usurped the title of Ramsay. Oh, excellent stuff. Lord Stannis has won his war and raised me to be the Lord of Winter for High Priest Melisandre. Right. So they want me to join the R'hllor God. Uh, I have no right. I belong to the old gods. After seizing, yes... We've got Ramsay Bolton. So now, technically, I am the Lord of Winterfell. Holy Christ, let's chuck a big save. A big save up in that bitch. Because now you can see we can summon 15k levies. Okay, phew. Okay, sweet. We have the entirety of the North under our control. Jon Stark, Aegon Targaryen. So let's quickly just drop our army for the time. Oh, we can't even just... Oh, yeah, we've got those mercs that we... Uh we hired, right, so let's disband those, oh, we've got special wildling units, right, and we're still losing money, that's fine, let's get rid of them, we've got 15k now, we're fine, okay, we've got 68 in the bank, let's repay that loan from the Iron Bank, so I want to try and get a child with Daenerys Targaryen as quickly as possible, Arnof Karstark is my heir, so we need a new Castell, and who do I sort of trust? Who will be a worthy Castellan? We've got Galbert Glover. Uh, we still haven't had the event where Howland Reed rocks up. Who should be my Castellan? I'm not entirely sure, if I'm being perfectly honest. Castellan Stewardship. Oh, yeah, so by Stewardship then. Uh, Maester of Wintertown. That's fine. Go by Justice. Who's a good Justice? Um, hey, let's get Mandalay in. Even though he's a little bit worse. Mage Mormont, 20. Wow, okay, get her in. We need a treasurer as well. Um, anyone sort of famous of renown? No. Spymaster, who's got like our, our best sort of intrigue? Rickard of the Reels. We need a maester. And I would like a P priest. Rick on the priest. Um, Benjamin, okay, cool. We need a maester, so let's send for a maester from the Citadel. Minor titles, designated regent. Can we give it to Danny? No. So who should be my designation designated regent? Moors, Jojen, Mage Mormont, Galbert Glover. The thing is, I could give it to Arnof Karstark, but he could betray me. I'm probably better off going with Galbert Glover. Bodyguards, let's get these blokes in. I'm actually quite a likable person. Captain of the Household Guard, let's give it to Joe. Oh, he's a wildling. I'm a wildling sympathizer, but is that a bit much? Putting Jojen in. Court Jester, I don't particularly want one. Keeper of the Swans. Master of the Horse. Torrent, Master of the Hunt. 
Um, we'll go with Jojen High Almana. Do we have a religious man here? We'll put Rick on in. I can't seem to find the other bloke. Cupbearer will sort by likeness. Give it to Galba Glover. And then we're going to need commanders. Let's sort who we've got in the dungeon as well. And we'll check out our wars. Because at the moment... Uh, we don't want Howl and Reed in the command. Because we're better off having him in other duties, you know? Okay, cool. What else can we go down? Laws. So, Arnold Karstark is my heir. We kind of need to get some children coming out as quickly as possible. Intrigue. Anything else we can do? Employ a new courtier. Disband your, how uh, disband your household guard. No. Iron Bank. Vassal. I think we're all good. Going down through here. No heir to our dynasty. Yeah. We need to get that sort of stuck. Idle council members. Oh, we'll jig that as well. Okay, let's go oversee the realm in Win oh, in Winterfell. Um, let's improve diplomatic relations with someone, I think. Right, let's sow dissent in King's Landing. I want to train children once they come of age. Okay, let's collect taxes in Winterfell. Let's scheme in Winterfell as well, and let's perform charity here in Winterfell. Anything else we can do here? Okay, I think we're ready to sort of let the um, time trickle on. Still the 18th of December, Ramsay and Roos are in the dungeon. We'll wait for them to get called for trial. We're currently at war with Tommen. Well, the Tommen's Stannis war, yeah, because Stannis is not technically our overlord, but I guess he's there. My lord, we received word... Ah... Sansa, wow, okay, my lord, we've received word that the suspected traitor Sansa Stark has been found. She apparently has been in the care of Lord Paramount Peter Baelish since she vanished from King's Landing, murdering Dof Joffrey. She has no ambitions in the north. She's, mar she's married to Harold Harding, but she doesn't like me for whatever reason. So what's going down here in the Riverlands? Right, Peter Baelish is married to a Corbray, though. And then we've got this whole uh, River Run thing going on here. Where's River Run itself? Yeah, Edmure, but what's his face is Lord Paramount of the Trident. My prisoner Ramsay Bolton is complaining about his cell. No, stay where you are. I'm going to wait for you to be called for trial. We've also got a new maester as well. Excellente, we'll get that guy... Uh, stuck in as quickly as possible. Yeah, we've got a new maester, so let's get you in. I need to have a child with, um, Danny. Apparently, I, I have a new heir. You have a new heir. If your character dies, you'll play as Lady Sansa Stark. My, um, half-sister. Okay. Fair enough. Um, yeah, Aya was the, uh, the mama's farce, Aya. Conditions are worsening in Winterfell. That's not good. What's Ellis Karstark doing over here in the northern part? High Lordship of Carhold. Ellis Karstark is married to Magna Sigthorn of oh, Then. Okay. You know what, guys? I was sort of just having a, a bit of a breather, a bit of a break in the north. We've got 34 wealth. I wanted to sort of consolidate our wealth and stuff. But the thing is, right, we really need to be down in the south, you know. Stannis, well, the thing is, we're, we're lumped into this war... And it's minus 63%. There's a small contingent in the Riverlands here, but we need to be probably down trying to take King's Landing because if Storm's End falls here with 20k, the Freys have 11k, I reckon probably Tommen's going to try and make us bend the knee. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to call the banners and um, we're going to march south. So let's get everyone to rally up at Greywater Watch and let's try and hit King's Landing, get rid of Tom and Baratheon as quickly as possible. We're still making a decent amount of wealth, so that means we're going to be able to, um... Let's choose a plot, actually. Let's try and get rid of Tommen, matter of fact. So, let's... What's plot to kidnap? I don't know. Anyway, let's just plot to kill, and we'll auto-invite plotters. What's going on here? 24%. What are you trying to do? Liege loyalists. Okay, I also want to try and get a child with Danny as quickly as possible. She's still hanging out in Marine. 
technically uh, the, the Queen still. But I think we can actually, later on, if we do give Stannis the Iron Throne, essentially, what we can do... No, are they going to lose? Oh, I don't know. It's coming... 91% to capitulation. You know what? I might have left it a bit late. I'm, I should have sort of hit them straight up, you know. 93%. So who's this? So what's so Aegon's in the south, isn't he? It's a little bit all over the place. These wars, we're rallying up in the neck. We got fifty-one gold. We're making a decent amount of money. Like I said, it might be sort of. Oh, right. That's what that was. Car holes rebelled. Ah shit. Send the ten thousand we have. Under the command of... I don't want John leading the van. That would be madness. You know what happened last time. Go for... Uh, I don't know. It might be a bit fruitless. I don't know if I'm going to have enough to win. Ah! Because we're going to need that 13, aren't we? The Raven has arrived from the Citadel. We will rejoice. Winter has come to an end. Treacherous bastard. Oh, Glover. Oh, Galba, Glover's betrayed us. Are you kidding me? It's because the war's, like, about... To, they're about to capitulate. That's what's going on. We're going to need a lot more here, then. Ah, shit. Go north, back up north, then. The guards drag Ramsay Bolton up from his cell and throw him at your feet. I've come for justice. He says, by right of birth and blood, I demand trial by combat. You have that right. Who will fight for the king? Jojen. Royce. Trained fighter. Um, let's let Rickard Reels stand. God know who's who's going to want to try and stand for Ramsay Bolton. Ramsay Bolton is defeated at the hands of Rickard. Oh. So it looks like Ramsay Bolton's been, um... Been freed, has he? Yeah, but his father's still in the dungeon. Rob wouldn't, uh... John wouldn't just execute them outright anyway. That's not his thing. Ah, uh, we've got a bit of a rebellion going on. In, oh, it looks like, um, they've capitulated now anyway. Yep. Stannis Baratheon's War for the Iron Throne has ended. Lord Stannis has lost. And it looks like Aegon of Essos is there. I don't know where Stannis Baratheon is in now anyway. Oh, he's in chains. That sucks. Well, we're going to have to deal... Well, or is this rebellion... No, we've lost the war. Our armies have been obliterated. Our castles stand, and now I stand... Oh, shit. Okay, right. Now I stand before King D uh, Tommen. John Stark. The king has decreed that you shall be incarcerated in the dungeons as punishment for your treason, and will not be released until he sees fit. A damning judgment. Outrageous. I'll die before I surrender. I'm gonna not. Yeah, I'm gonna die before I surrender to Tom and fucking Baratheon. All right, let's rally up what we've got. Let's see who stays with us and uh, who doesn't. I guess we'll hold up at Moat Kaelin. That's probably the best castle to defend, and we'll see how well we have a new heir. Brandon Stark has arrived at arrived at our court. Nice. Brand's alive. We probably should try and get him married off. Great news. My brother Brandon has been found alive and well. Gilly. He's the only one at our court that it looks like he can probably marry. Maybe there's someone we can betroth him to, though. Right, we've got a couple of interesting developments and some unique character actions. What I can do is I actually can banish Roose Bolton to the wall, which is what I'm going to do. I probably should have done that for his son, Ramsay. Bran needs to have a educator. So who should we... Well, yeah, I want to educate him. How do I do that again? Where is educate child? Sign a guardian. Who do I trust? Probably me. I'll train him. 
Okay, let's rally up at the neck. At the moment, it doesn't look like anyone else is really in. What else can we do? We've got some in righteous, uh, righteous imprisonment. Right. Um, is there anything else we can sort of do here? Oh, declare yourself king in the north. Let's do that then. I've got a maester command, household guard. Improve my levies in Winterfell. Defend Winterfell and force will improve my levies in Winterfell. Let's, um... Drill the soldiers, employ a new courtier. Not really much else we can do. Come on, Danny, we need a bloody... I need a child with you. I'm going to gift gift an artifact. I don't particularly want to do that. Form an alliance. Let's properly do that. We are married. I'm kind of blown away that we're not defaulted. All hail his grace, John, John Snow, Aegon Targaryen. The fourth of his name, the King in the North, the King of Winter, and the First Men. All hail the King in the North. Okay, so there's a there's a, f a couple of fights going on here. Galbert Glover is f defending a war here. What are the White Hills doing? It looks like the White Hills are at war with uh, Command to End War. Who are you fighting? Dreadfort. And what's Karstark doing? Massey. That's fine. As long as everyone... Okay, cool. Dear husband, your wisdom and mercy are legendary. I propose... Accept the alliance. Excellent. Does that mean we get her levies and stuff? So she's just sort of hanging out in the east, and we're sort of doing our thing in the north. We need some children, though. Okay, guys. We've currently rallied up just shy of 15,000 troops at Moat Kalen. It just takes a while for all the troops to finally get here, because, like, the north is, like, one of the biggest... Well, I think it is the biggest kingdom, yeah, in uh, Westeros. Anyway, let's get stuck uh, into moving south. So, we've got a... Yes, okay, so we can actually call Danny into the war. So, let's do that then. Bring my wife over. Currently 20, she's 19. Is there any other sort of special events we can do? I made the decision to put Howland Reed... Uh, in command, even though, what is he doing here? Oh, he's actually not here. Oh, I thought he, I thought I had him on, um, one of the council positions. Anyway, I don't think that 15,000 men is going to be enough to take out Tommen. So I'm going to ask the Iron, uh, Iron Bank for a loan. They're going to give me 200 gold. So, let's sort by Merc count. Let's go by total strength. So we get the Company of the Rose. That's seven gold per month and we're making 500 so we're losing about a oh okay so it's actually six, so we're probably losing about a deficit of roughly around about two gold per month a uh, two gold per month and that's going to give us an extra 2,000 troops so let's do that then let's move you to moat kalen as quickly as possible we got some righteous imprisonments i think that stuff's sort of fine at the moment the white hills are at war we're currently trying to plot to kill Tom and Baratheon, and the Crown Loyalist faction isn't very big anyway. Okay, so Tommen is currently king upon the Iron Throne, married to Marjorie Tyrell. He currently controls Lannisport as well. His mother died of drinking. Cersei's dead. Uh, Joffrey's dead. Marcel is still alive, and Edric Storm is his brother, apparently. Anyway, let's continue forward. Of course, I'll honor my obligations. Excellent. So, what's Danny doing over here? You're kidding me. What the fuck? Danny has... Oh, wow. Nearly, like, 30,000 troops. Come on, we need her. Imagine if she, like, sailed up the Blackwater. That'd be awesome. Okay, so we're currently rallying up at Moat Kalen. Oh, God. Jon Snow's ill. Um... His illness has passed. Is he still ill? No. I think he should be fine by the look of it. Lordship of Hornwood, attacking Tommen. Alright. Okay, victory, victory. Okay, 3%. How do we have a victory? Oh, <laughs> we've got like a hundred and so men here. Okay, cool. Let's let them take some of the countryside, I guess. So let's rally up at Moat Kale. We've got 17,000. Is there any more men we can get? 17,000. Rob went with 20,000 south and lost. Okay, let's sort by Marshall. John, we'll let him lead the front. We'll go with Torrin to lead the right. And we'll go with Howland Reed to hold the left. Howland Reed is uh, marching south. 
once more with a uh, a man with Stark's blood, I guess. Your Grace, I'm... Oh, okay, yeah, that's fine. Oh, wow. There's 12,000 frays here. They're going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Aegon Targir or Aegon Blackfire. The mum is fast. Oh, the Tower of Joy event has happened. Oh, yes. Everyone knows of the tale of the Tower of Joy from the War of the Usurper. My father's sister, Liana, was held prisoner there by Rhaegar Targaryen, guarded by three Kingsguard. After the war was won, Eddard and his companions rode on the tower to rescue her from captivity. That they prevailed in battle worthy of song was thought to be the extent of the tale. Okay. But Howland Reed was there and says there's more to the story. He says that Rhaegar Targaryen... And Lyanna Stark had a child, one that Rhaegar called his true-born son and placed under the protection of the Kingsguard. This child, he says, was rescued by Eddard and his identity kept secret. He says, this child is you. I cannot believe this. This makes, then this makes me the rightful king. Yeah, I'm going to do that, I think. Gets a minus 50 modifier to Danny, my wife. We're on the same team. Oh, what? I don't know. Should I wait till later or should I call my kingship now? You know what? Bugger it. I'm going to declare my uh, kingship. This makes me the rightful heir to the Iron Throne. So, okay, here we go. To all the good lords and I... Okay, to all the good lords and ladies, I here proclaim to be the true born son of Rhaegar Targaryen, Lyanna Stark. My identity has been kept secret, hence I claim the Iron Throne. John of House Targaryen, the first of his name, King of the Andals, the first men, Lord of the Seven Kingdoms, and Protector of the Realm. I will claim my my uh, birthright. And has that changed his... No, he's still House Stark. Oh, Sansa's had a child. Yelissa Arryn. To Harold Harding. Okay. Who is my heir? Bran. My half-brother. So Bran's still alive. Okay, where's my army? We need to march south on King's Landing. Uh, looks like my army lost there. That's fine. The Lannisters have 12,000 men there. I'm the rightful ruler of the Seven Kingdoms and King's Landing. Uh, this is my city. England is my city. Um, I believe when you... What? I believe when you... Right, us right. So we're trying to get Tom and Right. Was there a rebellion or something? No, I didn't really understand what's going on there. I'm more so concerned about getting jumped up upon a Lannister host. Crow's eye's still there. Twelve thousand. The Tyrells have thirteen thousand there. Twenty seven thousand. Thousand, they have there. Your Grace, I humbly request. Uh, why do I care? So, who's this? The White Hills are attacking the Boltons, and this is the son of Roos. Ramsay's dead, and Domric. Why do I care about the Boltons losing their kingship? Honestly, maybe we should sort of like sit tight. You know, it looks like Aegon's actually doing a pretty decent job. Come on, let's just, like, sort of hit King's Landing. Maybe just try and push for it. Oh, God, there's the 20,000. We're not going to win that, though, are we? <sighs> We're outnumbered way too much. Or should we just try and meet them on the field of battle? Or maybe we are going to win it. Oh, my God. I went, oh, fuck it. Let's push to Long Ward Hall. And it looks like we've prevailed. Victory. Perfect. We've smashed. We've just smashed the 20,000 man host. Let him rot. 20% to capitulation. Um, let's just sort of hold out a bit. We've got 63 gold. We're actually making a profit even with that Iron Bank loan, which is quite good. Let's continue to try and take down King's Landing. Tommen is at 20% to capitulation. I've got a couple of options here, right? What I could do is I could 
Force Assault, which will probably, like, halve my army. Looks like they're coming back for round two. Oh, no. You were separated from your men in the chaos of battle. Now you find yourself in the midst of war. As you scan the field and try and re enjoy Osmond, Lord Osmond breaks through the enemy and charges you. Okay. Get back, Your Grace. I'll handle this. Yeah, we'll let him do it. The mere sight of Maws is enough to make Lord Osmond turn and run with tail between his legs. So he was a part of the Kingsguard there. It looks like we're about to smash Tommen's force once more. Your jailers seek an audience. Uh, who have we got in captivity? Theodore. Lock him in a secure cell. Man, we're getting like whittled down here. King John, uh, King John Stark, I see your cause. Excellent. Devon Seaworth. What happened to your father? Died of natural causes. That's good. We've got a little bit more men. But uh, like I said, our army is severely depleted now. But holding out and taking King's Landing seems to be working for us instead of actually trying to push for it. The Tyrells, I don't know what the Tyrells are doing. Are they even allied with the Crown? Lord Paramount Mace of the Reach. Settings Marjorie's married to Tom and maybe they don't have a formal alliance or anything. We're still whittling down the castle. I don't want to assault straight up. But I don't know how the hell... We've won. Oh, what's this? Unmarried heir. Bran can get married. Gilly. <laughs> Craster's Keep. No. Well, I don't know who we'll marry off Bran to just yet. Um, well, I think we might sort of deal with it later. Um, the Arons. Oh, we could marry Bran to... To Sansa's daughter. Yelissa Arryn. That might be a, 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 a good idea. How old? There's Robert Aaron. Where is, um... She's one. How old's Bran? Fourteen. Yeah, let's do that. Let's betroth, um, Sansa's daughter to Bran. Uh, no. They won't accept. Oh, that sucks. Anyway, I'm sure we'll find Bran a bride anyway. Speaking of brides... Why the hell hasn't um, John and Danny had a king, uh, a son yet? Come on, we're really pushing towards the Red Keep now. Defenders of the Red Keep, come on! Yes, yes, Your Grace. We search the dungeon at once. Um, I'm gonna take everyone here. Whoever these people are, they smell the like belonging. Your Grace, we've rounded up everyone we could find. What would you like me to do with them? Uh, let's imprison the entire family. And I think that's the war over. Uh, Jamie Lannister. My prisoner, Lord Commander Jamie Lannister, is complaining about his dark skill. No, you Lannisters can stay where you are. Alright, so let's offer peace and let's enforce demands. The Second War of the North, King John has won. And surely we have the Iron Throne now. Or maybe I have to re-declare war, because now I've got those claims to actually take it. So we've got heaps of people in the dungeon. So where's Tom and Baratheon? He's in King's Landing. Ah, oh, what the fuck? Okay, guys, I figured out what's, what's happened. Technically, Tommen started that previous war when he declared war upon me because I claimed myself the king in the north. So, what we're going to have to do to um, hit him is we're going to have to re-declare war upon him so we can take the Iron Throne for myself, which absolutely sucks because we can't declare war upon him because we've got armies in the field. We've got 10k just sitting in King's Landing. I, I, I don't think I could have switched over the claim midst war. So what we're going to have to do now is we're going to have to disband our entire army and mercenaries, right? And we can't get another loan from the Iron Bank to get more. And now we're going to have to re-rally everyone up in the north and send them south, which is fucking bullshit. However, there's something else we can do. We can legalize our parentage, which I will do. I can choose... I can choose I'm a Stark or a Targaryen. No, I'm going to legally make myself a Targaryen now. Okay, cool. So now... Yes, I've got a lot of prisoners. 
the frays can stay where they are. So what I'm going to do now is is probably turtle up a bit. Um, like three, we smashed the King's Landing army, but they got like 13,000 back. That's bullshit. I'm probably going to save up some money so I can get a couple of mercenary companies. Um, hopefully let Danny and John have some children as well. And then we'll march south and declaim myself as John Targaryen, Aegon Targaryen. Let's have a quick look around the world. So Tommen has Storm's End as well. Okay, Doran Martell is in Dawn. Mace Tyrell is in the um, the Reach. Martin Lannister, son of Kevin, is in the Westerlands. Robert Aaron of the Vale. Edmure, Tu Edmure Tully is the Lord of Riverrun. However, Peter Baelish is Peter Baelish is the the Lord Paramount of the Trident. And Cro the Crow's Eyes in um, in the Iron Islands. Okay, I think that's pretty much it. I'm going to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. There's no more important decisions I can do just yet. I can can I repay my loan? No, it's going to cost me 250 gold. So I have to even bloody pay back my loan, which is going to be a bit of a pain in the ass. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. If you have enjoyed this Jon Snow campaign and would like to see more, the best thing you guys can do is leave a like, subscribe, and let me know in the comment section down below your feedback. If this video can hit 500 likes within 24 hours, I will do a double upload here today and release the second video instantly. If not, you just have to wait a little bit longer for that video. So yeah, like and subscribe if you haven't already. If you want to stay connected with me after this video on my social media links, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all in the description below. Highly recommend Twitter. Every single time I post a video, a tweet goes out. It's much more reliable than the YouTube sub box these days to get all the notifications for the channel you have to click subscribe of course and click the bell to join the notification squad g2a if you guys want to get yourself some cheap and reliable games i highly recommend g2a maybe you can pick up a paradox a total war mountain blade warband crusader kings 2 on there i do recommend checking out the affiliation link there's some really great prices on there like even just having a look around it's quite good um patreon and steam group there as well come and join the community on steam my name is Ben cmc stay tuned for more videos on the channel good bye really close cinematic shots here pushing through the bridge oh look at <laughs> That was probably the shot of the video there.